I'm Taylor Swift, and welcome to my You Belong With Me music video. Um, what? Yeah, it's my video. <laughs> what? If you could see My name is Taylor. We're about to uh, we're about to shoot the video for You Belong With Me, and we're on day one of a two-day shoot, and uh, we're in this neighborhood in Gallatin, and it's beautiful, and it's a gorgeous day. This is one of the only occasions where we've shot a video, and I've walked out of the car, and it hasn't been, whoa, this is 90 degrees, or wow, it's raining, and it's a downpour, or we're in the middle of a hurricane. So the, the weather being good, it's seeming like a good sign at this point. I'm expecting there to be an earthquake at any minute now so just I called it I'm just saying I'm just saying the idea of this video is that in the beginning of the video you establish that there are three basic characters in this video there's me dressed up like kind of geeky girl next door there's me dressed up like uh, snobby mean horrible cheerleader mean girl and then this is uh, the male lead in the video, the dreamy guy, and his name is well, Lucas. I guess. Lucas was the male uh, love interest for the Hannah Montana movie, and I met him like a year ago on that set, and I always thought he had like a really cool look, and he did a really great job in the movie, and then I saw him again at the movie premiere, and I was like, hi, this is what we need to do. The You Belong With Me video, Lucas, put it together, good idea. I'm the guy who the band geek wants to be with, but uh, I'm, I'm with the cheerleader. And uh, but secretly, I kind of want to be with the band geek because I relate more to her. Basically, the storyline is that geeky me is has been in love with him forever, and I've never had the I've never had the guts to tell him. And so you see us in our bedrooms, and when he closes his drapes, you see me hold up this very pathetic and hopeless sign that says, I love you, and, <laughs> um, and I know that he doesn't see it, but I hold it up anyway, and that's a big part of the video, and he's got this girlfriend who just hates me, and is horrible, and scary, and intimidating, and perfect, and so the whole video, I'm just sitting there pining away, wishing that I could be in her position, and then in the end, there's a happy ending. So this is my stand-in, her name's Kelly. Hi, and um, she's gonna be the blonde me, because there are shots where you know they're gonna shoot over my shoulder, but it's really Kelly's shoulder. Ah, oh, yeah. So I'm basically the other Taylor. And so then when we edit them together, it will look like Taylor is in two people in the scene, which is magic. Magic. People at home that don't know how to do this are gonna be like, how do they do that? Does she have a twin sister? Like that's what my mom will be saying. All right, so now we've switched places. And now she is cheerleader, and I'm, well, self-explanatory. So I'm the mean one now. And I'm the one that hunches over and nervously tucks her hair behind her ear and pushes up her glasses and talks about uh, political debates and the model of George Washington's house that she's almost finished with. Next, she's going to turn into me. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time I've ever worked with Roman White, and he is hilarious. He is just walking around, making jokes, just cracking people up the entire time. Excuse me, excuse me. What do you have a girl in your room for? <laughs> it's just quiet and creepy. This looks very Blair Witch Project right now, doesn't it? I mean, like a snot drip. <laughs> Taylor's coming! <laughs> Anybody goes after Lucas, I call you! Oh! Oh! oh my God. <laughs> He's dreamy! <laughs> Lucas! <laughs> I'm just joking. I brought you some stuff to inspire. When I got there, he gave me this bag full of, like, Star Wars action figure figurines. An action figure still meant in package. <laughs> <laughs> and like comic books and little anime books and stuff and he's like I thought you could uh, decorate your room at home with this and it would remind you of your inner geek and I was like well I, I kind of already have some of these 
the lightsaber, which is very important. <laughs> yeah, I already have a lightsaber, but thanks. One of the scenes was me dancing around my bedroom. That was some of the most fun I've had in a long time. This shirt is an actual authentic band camp shirt. And we had everybody sign it. The clarinet is where my passion is. Taylor, do you play video games? None. She yes, doesn't like it. all the time. Roman and Lucas were having a really lengthy conversation about video games, and I was kind of tuning out. Oh, you have yeah. PS3 or? Yeah, no, I, I have all three. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Because video games, you know, I can kind of keep up with conversations about anything except for video games. I'm like, I got nothing here. So those are cheat codes? Yoga Fire. Well, wow. it's, mm, it's a projectile attack of pure flame. It's for uh, Street Fighter. And he knows exactly what cheat codes they're for. Like, what oh. game it's for. They're like, man, that cheat code for Master Galactica was sick, man. That you can get to the next level and it's sweet. And then when you come up to the goblin, he shoots fireballs at you. You jump up and you grab the fireballs. They turn into a unicorn, man. You jump on the unicorn, press D D D plus 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 square and turn. Then you spin around and then you get to the golden arches and then you got to the next level. It's <laughs> um, so my number one passion. You should start doing that more instead of writing songs and such. Yes. It's a better use of time. <laughs> so one of the scenes was me dancing around my bedroom and Roman kept telling me, stop having rhythm. You know like the alarm on Seinfeld? Oh my god. Just do, yeah. Like, you're not a singer, you're not a performer in this shot, you're not performing, you have no rhythm in this shot, so just go for it. And I was like, really? So I can just do whatever I want? And he was like, yeah. Yeah, you could you could try to do some of this. Do some of the pop and lock, but really bad. <laughs> I'm teaching her some dance moves. Do a little bit. Get down on that. <laughs> yeah, it's just gotta be horrible. That was some of the most fun I've had in a long time. Just just freaking out and dancing and doing the the dumbest moves. It was so fun. This shirt is an actual authentic band camp shirt. It is signed by all members that attended band camp. This was brought to band rehearsal the other day by my fiddle player, Caitlin, former band geek. My co-bander over here actually borrowed my real band shirt. You see, Junior Jules was last year and we had everybody sign it. A junior Jules, the only way to go when going to band camp. In different color paint and puffy paint, is, oh, <laughs> it's awesome. It's my favorite. <laughs> and so I looked at her and I was like, Caitlin, I'm sorry, but I'm going to need to have your shirt because I'm shooting a video and it's very imperative that I have that authentic band camp t shirt. She's like, Yeah, man. Yeah, sure, man. And she brought my shirt and I was so honored because friends are friends forever. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just, <laughs> you know, hanging out in my room, like I do all the time. Just, you know, I completely know how to play clarinet. My clarinet skills, that's really my calling. Let me show you. I, I'm doing this whole thing, but really the clarinet is where my passion is. I think you need to turn it the other way. Come on, you clarinet player, you. Prom! <gasps> Happy ending time. About to kiss Taylor. There's an entire crowd full of football fans out there. We're gonna see a breakup, see a touchdown, some banding. Don't go to the fridge and get a Twinkie. It's better than a Twinkie. Trust me.
So this is the beginning of day two. We're about to go in and film the prom scene. I just got prom hair, and Lucas is getting his prom hair. So um, we're really excited, and uh, can't wait to see what goes on today. Prom! We're at prom! Um, we're at Pope John Paul II High School. And we're about to shoot the prom, and the, the cool thing is is that they were having, they're actually having their prom tomorrow night. And the school has been really great with helping us make all this possible. I mean, just with extras and everything, so it's going to be amazing. The uh, scene is that we are, I'm going to this dance, and this is the time when the guy that I like, I'm finally working up the nerve to tell him, and turns out that he likes me too, and <gasps> happy ending time! So we're shooting the end of the video first. Uh, where Taylor walks in and makes her grand entrance and kind of becomes who she really is and gets the guy in the end. And we'll have this great scene with Lucas trying to make his way to her and then angry cheerleader Taylor tries to intervene and he's just like, whatever. And then he moves on to Taylor. And then they have a really romantic scene where they kind of find each other and then they kiss and, you know. Wait, what? Wait, we were kissing in this video? I didn't... What? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that memo at all, actually. You guys are gonna kind of embrace and kiss. Okay, all right, cool. She doesn't it's... know, so... Oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay. We're about to shoot the huge makeout party. I've promised that if the scene goes off swimmingly, everyone will get juice boxes. Yes, I'm about to kiss. I'm about to kiss Taylor. Kinda nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, when you're trying to kiss someone in a scene in front of 60 million people and everyone's watching and there are cameras here and here and here, 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 and you're mic'd up, that's awkward enough, okay? But when your extras on the scene are actually high school students and then halfway through you hear a guy off to the side go, <laughs> that's awkward. <laughs> that doesn't make it any less awkward. It was just hilarious because there was this one guy who kept saying, like, ah, awkward, ah, ah, they just kissed. <laughs> Boom. We just finished the kiss scene. Uh, it went amazing. They are both incredible kissers. You no, know, the kiss scene went great. Uh, it was very sweet. Uh, it's going to be amazing in the video. So I think it'll be a really great ending. Well, we're about to go outside, and um, there's an entire crowd full of um, football fans out there. It's just really cool to see that all of these people have come out and volunteered to be extras in this video. I'm about to go cheer in my alter ego, and um, I think I'm going to do my, my signature move, which is... That's basically it. <sighs> Dude, so I, I made out with Lucas for like five hours today on screen. It was really rough, wasn't it? They were like, oh, do it again. No, let's do it again. We're going to get a different camera. Reloading. Let's do that again. And how was that? Yeah, what you were I don't know. It looks like you hated it. <laughs> we're on the football field. We're about to shoot our football segment of the music video where Taylor both plays the band geek in full band regalia and also the angry cheerleader. So we're gonna see both halves of her down here on the field. We're gonna see a breakup. And meanwhile, up in the stands is Band Geek Taylor. So she's up there with her clarinet watching all this happen, watching Lucas get his heart broken. She can't do anything about it. Okay. And Taylor, when you stand, I mean, it's like you're singing to him. One of my favorite things about this video is that there wasn't a standard performance scene. This video is pretty much all storyline, and I'm narrating it in the moment, basically narrating when all this is happening around me, so it's, it's a really cool way to do it. We did a funny kind of performance scene in the bleachers of the football game where my band, my actual touring band, all dressed up in, in band uniforms, and they're all like around me, like, Caitlin was like, can you fix my food? I just, I broke it, and I don't know how to fix it. And she's got her braces in. And it was like the most hilarious thing, because Amos, my bass player, was trying to, was figuring out how to play the trombone. It was amazing. About to shoot the big football scene. Uh, Lucas is gonna score a touchdown. 
You're gonna have the big shoulder thing. It's the big Rudy moment. Yeah, I thought I was just gonna have to run. So you just told me I have to catch the ball. And I actually went on the field and he was like, you didn't know I was gonna catch the ball. Yeah. It's uh, extremely nerve wracking going into this situation, not playing football when I was a kid and uh, having to uh, catch this dang thing. And I, <laughs> they told me I had to catch it. I was like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm just running, right? And was, no, 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 you you got to catch the ball and run it in. I think I caught it twice out of 12 times. He was basically like, he would run down the field and the whole crowd is ready to react upon him catching the ball and he would miss it. He's not catching really any of the balls at all. We may have to digitally superimpose him catching the ball. It happened like three times and then he caught it, finally. And we were like, that's the take. So we, uh, we gained 110%. We, you know, we went out there and uh, we did. We talked. We hustled. We hustled real good. And uh, you know, hopefully we do our best. You know, we do well. Do uh, it's all right. It's all right. You put a lot of good, solid effort in, and it looks good. Stay tuned because my new video for you belong with me is coming right up.